Hi, this is Dr. Donald Pelto. Uh, what I want to talk about at this point is this patient that's come in. I've been seeing him for many, many actually years, and he has a, a wound, as you can see, on the bottom of his foot in the front. And this area isn't painful because he has neuropathy and doesn't feel it, but it's been very, very challenging for us to heal this wound. As you see on this first photograph here, he previously had surgery. He has two actual screws, one going through his big toe and one going through his fifth metatarsal where he broke it. And if you believe it or not, he actually broke his foot without feeling it because of the neuropathy and lack of feeling. After we had done surgery to fuse this toe and to bring this bone up by putting a little hole in it, it's continued to go down because the force of the bone was actually stronger than the tendon that we wrapped around to hold it up. And now we stuck with a, a foot that has this first metatarsal, as we saw previously, uh, with a wound on it because it's, it's further down, it's, it's pressing further down. And we have to get to the bottom of healing this. Initially after the surgery, we kept him off it for a number of weeks and it healed up perfectly, but now he's going back to work and this pressure here on the bottom is becoming a problem for him. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to get some pressure off the area. We wanted to keep him active as much as possible and we didn't want to restrict him because up till now he's been in different types of walking boots and casts and, and different things and, and therefore we, we, we opted now to modify his diabetic shoe. So he has a special uh, diabetic shoe which is an extra depth shoe and then we opted to put a, a special felt pad. We took a piece of felt, and we cut it out right along where the ulcer is, <clears throat> and that would go right either taping on his the actual pad itself, on the diabetic insert, or on his foot. In this case, it's usually easier to tape it on someone's foot because it doesn't move around. In the cases where you can't tape it on their foot, we tape it on the inside of the insert or we even cut a little hole out right where the ulcer is. And that was our solution for this patient for the time being is to tape it on the bottom of his foot and every day when he changes the dressing he'll be changing a little dressing right here and then putting tape over it with this padding. This is called a, a felted foam or a felt type of a padding to offload the area so that he can keep walking and keep a little bit active but still heal up that ulcer. This is a very challenging type of an ulcer to heal because of his lack of feeling. He does have good circulation. Another option that was given to him was to go into a boot to offload the area. But as you can see, it is his right foot and his wife doesn't drive and therefore he can't get around and we need to make him a little bit more mobile. We also could have gone in there and uh, modified the surgery uh, initially that we saw here in the x-ray and what we could do here is we could actually do a cut in the bone and shift the bone up a little bit more so doing a, a straight cut here lifting it up and that will take the pressure off of it as well uh, that may be another option for the future thank you I hope you've enjoyed this if you want to learn more about healing diabetic foot ulcers visit healmyfootwoundfast.com thank you this is Dr. Donald Pelto